Welcome to the RSP Film Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Jamar Jefferson, the rookie out of Oregon State, playing with the Detroit Lions. He has a bit of an ankle injury, but still I wanted to take a look at his tape because I was impressed with a lot of what I saw from him at Oregon State, and I wanted to see how that's translating early on in the limited touches that he's had with the Detroit Lions. And we're going to watch this play, which is a duo look. You're going to see motion from both tight ends across the field. That's going to shift the defense a little bit. You see the front shift as well. And that plays into how they want to duo block this. You have two double teams on the ta nose tackle. And then you're going to have a double team here on the end on the right side, at least from the Steelers' perspective, the right side on number 97. And... So Jefferson's going to deal with these two double teams and work to them. And what he's trying to do is to manipulate the linebackers based on what he reads with the double teams right here because the double teams work to the linebackers. So as he takes this, he works downhill. He sees that basically as he reads the leverage that he has a nice crease right here if 55 Bush can get blocked. So what he does is press the lane towards the outside shoulder and that moves Bush into that area. And as a result of that, he can squeeze through this tight crease. This is very good manipulation on a duo run. And what's nice about it is that you can see that as they work here, as he begins to work here, he sees that he has his, his guard here on this side picking up number 93. So he can work towards that left side, draw 55 in, and then squeeze in through that crease and get skinny. And look how he gets skinny through that crease. See how he turns the pad right there? The turns Puts the ball high to his chest, turns his back into the defender, so the defender's only reaching for the back rather than the ball. That's fantastic work by a rookie. Small detail that really matters. Now here's a gap play you're going to see basically a counter play where you're going to see them pull counter tray across here and he has three blockers two tight ends he's got his pulling guard and he has two options for a crease he can go straight downhill or he can try and follow hawkinson number 88 here towards that outside now i like the fact that he works downhill and just pushes for what he can get here rather than getting too um too nifty with this but down the line, you would like to see him kind of press inside, maybe see if he can read this a little bit better and get and work towards 88 and really follow that block and see if he can squeeze through there. Now, he probably wouldn't gain much more based on trying to squeeze between 89 and 88. And he also reads the leverage very well with the defender's helmet right here over 89. So overall, this is probably the wisest decision. But once he gets once you get into the crease, you can probably take a little bit more of a chance here to try and go for the bigger play. Still, nice look. Now, this is a 28-yard touchdown, and what he does nicely here is he's got a nice big crease here, does a good job of being able to press towards the right, come back to the left towards the unblocked, or the, the lineman who doesn't have a block, work through that, and now he's got the secondary here. And watch him turn on the Jets and split the secondary. He splits both safeties on that play. Now, he gets wrapped up high here. But if you have split safeties and, a, and one of them is, able, is only able to get contact and to secure any attempt at a tackle by reaching from backside pursuit at this point, you're fast. That's good burst right there from Jamar Jefferson. Let's take a look at it from the red zone view. And again, Detroit likes to use this heavy formation type of look. You can see 73 with the block. 67 has no one to block. He presses towards the inside, works back to the outside. Again, that crease is a little smaller than it looked from the broadcast angle, doesn't it? He does a good job of hitting that. Look how he turns that shoulder to get through that crease. Hops through it aggressively. And now it's about splitting these safeties. Again, turning the pads and shoulder away from the reach of the defender ball high to his chest covers it with the other arm in case 34 gets closer than he anticipated and drags a man in fantastic this is also an underrated play for a rookie because you're going to see him here used as a receiver basically on an outlet pass where he works inside comes out into the middle of the field turns and looks for the ball 
catches it with his hands, underhand technique with fingertips, but he does a fantastic job of turning directly upfield. See how he initially goes towards the outside, but he plants hard, gets inside the defender, gets the first down. That's a good transition. He doesn't try to make a move, doesn't try and run around a defender who's cut off that edge. He gets what he needs to on this play, knowing that he's close to the sticks. Very nice awareness. Very good transition here on this play. Let's watch it from this angle. It's a motion swift outside. Nice catch. He sees the defender on the outside within two steps, plants, and flips those hips. Look how he flips the hips right there. That's nicely done. Let's see if we can do a slow motion here. Yeah, plant, turn, flip those hips, and he just gets a couple yards. That's all he needs. Again, no accident here for Jamar Jefferson. They're going to go basically a four vertical look, all four receivers going vertical downfield, and then you send the back out as the check down in the middle of the field after the defense has been run off. Goff finds it in a crowded pocket, extends the arms for the ball. Nice job doing that. So he's attacking the ball early using his hands, even though he lets it get a little bit closer to his chest because he's turning back, I guess. But still, downhill, has three defenders, splits them, just tries to, works towards it, gets the, the sticks, doesn't try to do anything cute, not going for a huge play, just going for the first down. Understands down and distance. Plays tough, finishes strong. There's some nice patience with his running consistently. It's a windback play, and he works towards that front side. And then where the windback gets the cut block here on the edge defender, he heads out towards there, reads the leverage, and sees 54 on the outside, squeezes through this tight crease. Again, he's got good hips to be able to change direction quickly and efficiently. Gets downhill, reads this block, Makes the late cut inside so he doesn't cut too quick in towards this defense defender coming, you know, towards the inside here. And then lowers the pads through that and extends. This is just a nice, he just does a nice job of picking and sliding his way through traffic. He reads the leverage well. And he always seems to have the ball in a secure place. 